Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place by a car in Okinawa of the military community of Okinawa for the second consecutive year. That's right, we won last year in 2023 and we took home the repeat for this year, 2024. Stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. Today I'm showing you this 2009 Mazda Excella Sport Wagon. It only has 37,000 uh, kilometers on it, which is only 23,000 miles. That is it. Before I get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on the lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on the lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's Used Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos. going to answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more, so please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. This Mazda Accelo uh, Sport Wagon is a five-passenger vehicle in the 300 series category, so a uh, larger category. Road tax per year is going to be 19,000 yen, which is about $140 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we're going to take care of the 2024 road tax for you. You won't have to worry about this till next April or May. Now you do have two ways to pay for this. First one being US dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount. Or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do have, some do more. Up to you. Before I go inside, I'd like to show you the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit this way. If it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is, it's going to be that cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out. And always get yourself a good uh, windshield visor. You got to keep that dash as cool as possible. So in addition to that, you may want to consider buying a dash cover. Or if you want to keep it simple, go ahead and buy yourself a larger bath towel or beach towel, lighter in color, and drape that across the uh, dash. Now there are some things that I just noticed. It does have a couple dimples here. I'm not sure if you can see that. One right there and one right here. So just a couple dim uh, dimples on it. All right. Other than that, let's go in and jump inside. All right. Key fob on your purse and foot on the brake. It is a push start. You're going to push that one time and it goes. I'll leave it up here. Sneak this in. 30. Turn it ready off. Sorry, Troy. 37,125 on the odometer. Uh, let's show you a couple of warning lights. Uh, that one right there, obviously, your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. And that one right there is your emergency brake. This one's a handbrake, so when you disengage, it goes away. Engage, it comes right back on. Other than that, very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. Anything pops up on the dash while you're driving, please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action, especially if it's red. Please pull over. All right. Uh, off the left here, you have two displays. The one on the left is going to show you the air conditioning settings. The one on the right is going to—it's all in Japanese, so it's going to show you things like uh, how many more kilometers before the gas runs out, how many. Uh, kilometers per liter and so forth. I don't know all of them, so I'm just gonna mention those two. All right, adjust those so I can get a little more comfortable in here. Uh, then you have your radio. This one does not have a rear camera. You have your uh, air conditioning controls, uh, non-smoking tray and power outlet. Your shifter, handbrake as I told you about, cup holders, and a center armrest that you can push a button and it's gonna extend out a little bit more. And it's also gonna give you a little uh, more um, Hey, what is that? Should extra key down there. A little extra storage and another power outlet. Okay. Over here, you have your uh, two tier uh, glove box. Okay. And then a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. That is your passenger space over there. You got your red row flare hanging out. Then this is the space I have on my side. The seat is all the way back, all the way down. I am 5'11, as everybody loves knowing. Um,. I can drive as is or slide it up a couple inches and still be comfortable driving. And then you do have a compartment for your sunglasses. Let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. Really can't see anything past the windshield wipers like on most vehicles. All right. And I'd like to take this time to show you the auction sheet, showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Graded non-accident from the auctions up in mainland. All these other dealers out here can't tell you that on all their cars. We can for each one. Uh, and some dealers will try to discredit this auction sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. It was graded four from the auction with an overall grade of C, 
for the exterior interior. So it's a pretty good grade for this. And that's gonna be up here on the sun visor on the driver's side so you can see that for yourself. We'll help you decipher it if need be as well. And then you have this guy hanging out right there. That's your ETC reader. Uh, that's your electronic toll collector. I know it says collection. I like saying collector. Uh, this works like easy pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway. Okay, let's show you a couple other things before we go to the back seat. Um, it does have the paddle shifts. So you're going to put it in this uh, right here if you want to use that. Um, I'm going to put up the door here. All right, so on the right side, you do have this guy. That's going to control the angle of your headlights. So maybe it's a foggy morning, you want to see the street a little better, that's where you're going to uh, control that. The D DSC, I have no idea what that is. And I stop is basically turning the engine off, or the engine's going to turn off automatically if you're at a stop sign or uh, for a duration of time or a stop light. I'm not a big fan of that during the summertime because with the heat here, your your uh, your car is going to warm warm up, and then when you start going again, it's got to cool down. So uh, I don't want the flip flop like that. I'd rather just have it on the uh, the whole time. And then you have your uh, a little um, compartment here for some storage for coins or whatnot. And then underneath that, you have your um, hood release. Please don't forget down here, you have your uh, gas cover release on the floor, and on the door panel, you have your mirror, window, and door lock controls all right here. This controls all the door locks. So uh, to turn it off, your foot does not have to be on a brake. Let's push this one time and let's head to the back. All right. All right, so with the seat all the way back, all the way down, I'm pretty much flush with the, uh, with the back seat to my knees. Uh, nothing as far as storage on the back of the driver's seat, but you do have pocket storage on the back of the passenger seat. As always, be careful what you put in there. You don't want to rip it. And then just a cup holder on each uh, door panel. And then it does have a center armrest that comes down. It stays level and it's going to give you two cup holders uh, for you. Okay. Let's head to the back. Oops. So you do have to push this button. I forgot about that. So here's your rear space, pretty sufficient. Now, if you need extra space, you can take this uh, privacy cover out, and then you can push down on those buttons over there, and that's gonna lay these down flat. They will go flat on this model, okay? They have this whole space open. Let's head to the front here, show you the engine compartment. They're gonna wrap this video up. There you have it. Two liter engine, nice and clean. There you go, 2009 Mazda Excella Sport Wagon. 37,000 kilometers on it, which again is only 23,000 miles. That is it. This will not last long. Uh, military price is going to be 5,400. Additional military discount will get it down at 5,200. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on the lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. For now, the 5,200 will include a two year JCI, the one year bumper to bumper full warranty, the 2024 road tax, and the 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be the American insurance requirement. Whether you're on liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick, yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealers, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles, then stop by Johnny's these cars, let us show what we have, what our program's all about, and how we're gonna assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. One of the many reasons why we did win the Stars and Stripes, Best Pacific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car, and Okinawa Award for the second consecutive year. Again, stop by, we'll show you why. Don't forget two ways to pay for it. US dollars cash outright, or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. Please like and subscribe, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.